A retired Israeli professor, Dr. Hami Eshed, is making world news at the moment because of his revelations concerning the United States, Israel, having made deals with extraterrestrials. Aloha everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Sala, and Dr. Eshed's revelations are really remarkable. He's a senior Israeli scientist. Uh, he was the head of a major Israeli Space Institute associated with their Ministry of Defense from 1981 up until 2010. He has a PhD in aeronautical engineering and he was in charge of Israel's spy satellites. And that was something he did uh, within the Ministry of Defense. And as a result of that, he worked very closely with American spy agencies, such as the National Reconnaissance Office and the CIA, which jointly runs the NRO along with the Department of Defense. So what he has revealed is that agreements were reached with extraterrestrials. He says that there is a galactic federation and as a consequence of these deals, uh, studies were done on human genome, on our history, on our culture. The extraterrestrials were very interested in us that a joint facility was established on Mars, which is run by the extraterrestrials along with Americans. And what he is saying is that recently President Trump was on the verge of revealing all of this, uh, but that the extraterrestrials, the Galactic Federation, said that the time wasn't right yet, that humanity hasn't yet reached that stage of technological sophistication where we could handle any revelation about the existence of extraterrestrials without having a societal meltdown. So apparently this is part of the reason why Space Force has been created. So this is uh, really getting a lot of people's uh, attention around the world. A lot of the me major media are covering it. And uh, what makes uh, Dr. Eshed's uh, statements really important for us to acknowledge is that in addition to him being a senior Israeli scientist, having held senior positions in their Ministry of Defense, PhD in aeronautical engineering, was that uh, he, as the head of Israel's spy satellites, got to work very, very closely with the US secret space program. And the US secret space program uh, has been something that has evolved uh, out of the 1940s, 1950s studies of uh, captured extraterrestrial craft. And in the 1970s and 80s, spy satellites were sent up using rocket propelled technologies, but also anti-gravity technologies were developed and deployed in the early 1980s. Now, Israel, especially the Mossad, has worked very closely with the CIA since its inception. We know this because of the memoirs of uh, James Jesus Angleton, who was the counterintelligence chief of the CIA from uh, 1954 up until uh, the early 1970s. And he, and he was in charge of, of the of three desks, uh, the, the CIA counterintelligence, he was in charge of uh, CIA's liaison with uh, the Mossad, and with uh, the Vatican. So what, and Angleton was in charge of all of the classified UFO files. So what he did with the Mossad, what he did with the Vatican, is that all three pulled together their knowledge base concerning extraterrestrial life and uh, contacts and so forth. So out of that was birthed uh, the US secret space program. And from the very beginning, the CIA uh, worked with the Pentagon in setting up the National Reconnaissance Office, which really runs the spy, the spy satellites in the United States. The National Reconnaissance Office was set up in 1961, and up until 1993, it was totally secret. No one knew anything about it um, until it was revealed. But uh, it was set up to run the space reconnaissance and also to play a role with the CIA in developing and deploying a lot of advanced anti-gravity craft for, for conducting space surveillance. So it wasn't just 
man, uh, unmanned satellites in space that the NRO was in charge of. They were also in charge of manned space stations and also in charge of these uh, secret anti-gravity craft that were developed um, and sold uh, uh, by major aerospace corporations, by Lockheed, to different American customers. And, you know, when I say American customers, we're talking about um, the Air Force Space Command, we're talking about Air Force uh, Special Operations, we're talking about the Navy, we're talking about DARPA, we're talking about the CIA, we're talking about the NRI. So this is the thing. In, in the United States, uh, there are many different agencies uh, that are very interested in these anti-gravity technologies that have secretly been built by Lockheed Martin, by Northrop and uh, other top aerospace companies. So all of this was, was developed and deployed and Israel was right there, uh, Israel's Mossad in particular, but also this particular uh, space centre that was headed by Dr Eshed was part of this. So th that Israeli uh, Space Institute was, had set up, had sent up approximately 20 satellites that provides round-the-clock satellite surveillance of the Middle East for Israel, for, for the Mossad and for the uh, Israeli Defense Force. Uh, but it also has these anti-gravity vehicles uh, that it operates uh, alongside or jointly with the National Reconnaissance Office, um, with the CIA. So that's probably where he got a lot of his information about agreements having been reached between the US and extraterrestrials uh, because of uh, Israel, the IDFs, and in particular Mossad's close work with the CIA, with the NRO, and also the National Security Agency. The NSA is also part of that, um, that, that grouping of US agencies that monitor uh, space traffic and also have been setting up agreements or monitoring these agreements with extraterrestrials. So it's very important that Dr. Eshed has confirmed that agreements were reached between the United States and extraterrestrials. Uh, he has corroborated that there are bases on Mars that are jointly run between the, the US and also the extraterrestrials. And that this Galactic Federation closely monitors events on Earth and that up until recently we were on the verge of disclosure, major disclosure. But it seems that uh, we aren't quite there yet technologically, uh, so the creation of Space Force is something that is going to help hum humanity get up to speed. Now, of course, when we're talking about technology and humanity getting up to speed with extraterrestrials, we're talking about two faces of humanity. On the one hand, you've got a very small breakaway civilization uh, where they have all of these anti-gravity craft, deep underground military bases using all of these futuristic uh, technologies, secret satellite space station facilities out in space that is run uh, as part of this kind of breakaway civilization that if we use the Kardashev scale is a type one civilization. But we on Earth, uh, those of us that uh, read the, the mainstream media, s share Twitter, Facebook, all of the social media, you know, we're reliant on kind of like antiquated, antiquated technologies. And, and according to uh, Dr. Michio Kaku, we are only at a 0.7 level of, um, in the Kardashev scale, 0.7 level of uh, evolution in terms of society. So according to Dr. Eshed, we need to kind of like up the grade, you know, going from a 0.7 to maybe a 0.9 or something before the Galactic Federation will, will reveal itself. I mean, incredible statement. I, I think what we can expect uh, for the, the next four years, I, I think that uh, Trump is going to succeed in, and he, he will be inaugurated again and there'll be a second Trump administration at, at, at the end of this kind of like uh, turmoil that we're which, wit witnessing now with the elections. And Trump will just continue down the path of accelerating the disclosure of all of these advanced technologies. Now, one of the things that I found uh, very significant here with Dr. Eshed's uh, statement is, is that uh, one of the conditions for the Galactic Federation uh, releasing 
uh, or making open contact with us is that uh, we de technologically evolved, that we're not quite there yet. Now, one of the first things that uh, President Trump did was he issued a sec secret memorandum soon after his inauguration on January 20, uh, 2016, requesting that the intelligence community declassify at least 1,000 uh, patents that, were that have been held up on national security orders. If you go to the US Patents and Trademarks Office, you'll see that there are roughly 5,800 patent applications that are held up because of national security orders, which means that uh, these inventions, and a lot of them deal with uh, new energy, electromagnetic propulsion systems, uh, health modalities, new healing technologies, all of these things are being held up. Um, and, and Trump instructed the intelligence community to release those things. Well, uh, to release a thousand of those patents. Now, that didn't happen. And so we're all waiting for uh, these uh, patents to be um, lifted, uh, the, uh, secrecy orders being lifted so that they can come forward so that we can technologically evolve to becoming closer to a type one civilization, which seems to be uh, a requirement for the Galactic Federation making open contact. Quite an interesting concept. I haven't come across that yet. Uh, as far as I was aware, uh, there were multiple agreements uh, between the US and uh, different extraterrestrial civilizations on technology exchange. Um, but uh, this is the first time I've heard that uh, in order for the Galactic Federation revealing itself, we actually have to reach something like type one status. But certainly we have the ability, it's just been withheld, uh, but I predict that um, in, in 2021, um, as we enter into a second term of this Trump administration, that there will be these kinds of technological releases and we will be having open contact with extraterrestrials at some point during this second Trump administration. But certainly between now and January 21, we're in for a wild, wild ride. So I, I hope uh, you uh, can patiently ride it out. So I look forward to uh, sharing more information as more uh, is released. So thank you for listening and subscribing to my podcast. Aloha.